And these are not your average gummy bears. How one company is adding a candy crunch. Anybody who loves gummy bears appreciates how soft and chewy they are. We found a company that's jazzing up the beloved bear by adding a candy crunch. Watch. There's a rainbow of colors and just as many flavors at the Albany's Candy Store just outside Chicago. The company was started in 1983 by my dad, Scott. We started with roasting nut meats, went into chocolates, and then decided to manufacture gummies. But these aren't your average everyday gummies. A crunchy gummy bear is very fun. It's got that gooey, and then it's got that pop of a crunch, and then it's got the pop of that flavor. So it's got that great, wow. It takes about 24 hours to create a batch of these crunchy bear candies. It starts with four giant bags of gelatin that they hydrate with hot water for 20 minutes, just like you'd make gelatin at home. Then the mix goes through a pipe and into giant kettles where workers add sugar and cook it. When it's ready, the mixture is piped over to a kettle where they add citric acid, flavor, and a burst of color like this batch of Granny Smith apple. When they're fully combined, the mixture is piped into a depositor that squirts the gelatin into special molds. Get a load of these. They're made out of cornstarch. We stamp the shape of the image into the cornstarch. That image is transferred to the hopper system, which we take this delicious hot slurry candy and deposit it into the cornstarch. Each mold makes 420 bears, and the depositor can fill 30 molds a minute. That adds up to 750,000 bears an hour. After the candy dries for 24 hours, a machine plops them out of the mold, then spins off most of the cornstarch. A steamer takes care of the rest, and here they become not your average bear. The steaming process coats the gummy bear. So what it does is it takes the steam and it melts the candy to allow the NPs, the non-parels, to lather into the gummy bear so it sticks to the product. The bears tumble and fall in the bath of candy, and when they come out, they're wearing a crunchy coat. They join their colorful cousins, and then they're set loose on candy lovers across the country. Now, these gummy bears are as special as the bears at a zoo, but they're a lot more friendly. It's your only opportunity to bite a bear that's not going to bite you back. 